natural birth control. Neighbors across from Knight's Tower, a high-rise residential building on the Thames River in South London, frequently see unusual activities. Lovebirds find the city lights glistening on the water's surface irresistible, and neighbors have reported witnessing a variety of activities taking place on the balcony. On a warm summer Tuesday night in June 2014, a sultry couple was spotted having sex on a sixth-floor balcony. Most neighbors simply closed their drapes while others relished the entertainment. It was just the neighborhood's version of a reality show. The apartment was the scene of a party. The couple would halt their game when someone emerged onto the balcony, only to pick it up again when the person left. During the party, a man kept lifting up the girl and putting her on the railing. Suddenly, the man and woman were plummeting to their deaths below. Third time's a charm. On November 14, 2018, the very tribe of natives to whom John Allen Chow was promising eternal life killed him. Chow was a self-described world explorer who was influenced by Livingston and Jesus. The BBC in Delhi reported that Chow bought passage to the Forbidden Island from six fishermen so he could present the Sentinelese tribe with gifts of scissors, a soccer ball, and Jesus. The fisherman's boat couldn't get close to the island, so Chow took a kayak to shore. Things didn't go well as he was attacked and had to retreat to his kayak and make his way back to the fishing vessel. On his second attempt, Chow once again approached the natives who reacted with hostility and had to return to the fishing boat. Third time's a charm? Not for Chow. He told the fishermen he would go to the island, but wanted them to get out of sight so as not to antagonize the inhabitants. After kayaking to the island, he was attacked by arrows but continued walking. When the fishermen returned, they saw the natives dragging his body along the shore and tying a rope around his neck. It was obvious they were refusing his gifts. This remote tribe has a well-documented zero-tolerance policy toward outsiders ever since a British occupation nearly wiped them out in the 1800s. It is understandable why Chow's remains have never been found. Stoned again. Here's a blast from the past from November 6, 1816. One of the founders of the country, New York Governor Morris, met an odd end. Known as the penman of the Constitution, he wrote the preamble to the Constitution. This well-educated and powerful man passed away in New York City from an infection brought on by forcing a whalebone through his urethra in an attempt to remove a blockage. The eminent American statesman was laid to rest at the Bronx's St. Anne's Church. Benjamin Franklin, who is cited as the inventor of the catheter sometime in 1752, invented the device for his brother who had bladder stones. A fatal tumble. At two in the morning on December 18, 2018, Maryland authorities discovered a lifeless body at the base of a up escalator at an Amtrak train. Authorities reviewed security cameras and discovered that just after midnight, the man was running up and down the escalators. Out of breath from his experience, he lost his balance at the top and fell backwards, tumbling down the moving metal steps. At the bottom, he hit his head. When news crews arrived on the scene, they discovered pieces of clothing stuck in the escalator, suggesting that fabric may have played a role in the mishap. Since there were no trains in operation when the fall occurred, the death had no effect on train service. Shopping bag ban. A case in New South Wales in Australia on July 22, 2018, shows the consequences of a shopping bag ban are dire. A 58-year-old woman stopped to see if her reusable grocery bags were in the trunk when her car ran her over. Evidently not using the parking brake, the car casually rolled backwards, killing the woman. Working at the car wash. With the drive still engaged, a Las Vegas man drove into the car wash and then, shockingly, exited the Scion hatchback. The 56-year-old was pinned beneath the vehicle as it evidently crept forward on its own, as cars do. At that time, the car wash was not operational. The next customer to use the car wash saw the driver. 
Palomar Medical Center confirmed the death of the unresponsive body after it was taken there by the authorities. There are no discovered extenuating circumstances. Superman? On October 4, 2005, a petty officer under a pseudonym, Brandon Dilbert, served in the United States Navy. Like many other heroes, he was killed while serving his country and is recognized with the full respect accorded to a fallen hero. In this case, the fallen hero was literally supermanning out of a naval helicopter while pulling off an absurd stunt on the stern cargo ramp. While serving in the Iraq War, Brandon came across the term supermanning, which was coined by some soldiers having a good time in big helicopters that had a cargo door in the back. Someone would figure out how to make a makeshift harness out of a cargo strap or safety belt, then lower their body out the back of the plane with their arms extended straight ahead and their legs spread wide, flying horizontally like Superman with one fist pumped forward. Superman crashed. Hot buns. During a ritual to cleanse body and soul on October 25, 2017, in Malaysia, a spiritual magician was unintentionally steam-cooked to death in a stainless steel wok. Despite warnings from his family, the man had been performing human steaming for over 10 years. In the enormous stainless steel steamer, the 68-year-old guru sat in lotus position while rice, sweet corn, and vegetarian buns were arranged next to him for steaming. A fire was lit beneath the wok, and he folded his hands in prayer as a lid was lowered over him. After 30 minutes, something went wrong. The magician's frantic knocking from inside the steamer was heard by the devotees. With steam erupting all around him, he was discovered unconscious when the lid was lifted. The man had suffered severe second-degree burns and passed away from a heart attack. Reach for the sky. An employee of a logistics company who worked in the warehouse in August 2017 in Japan. He always had logistics as his top priority. The laborer had to reach nearly 30 feet in the air up to replace a light bulb. With a reach of only about seven and a half feet, the forklift was insufficient to reach the bulb. Looking for a solution, he stacked 37 wooden pallets onto the forklift platform. Seated atop this precarious wooden marvel, the 40-year-old persuaded a fellow worker to use a forklift to raise them to the ceiling. The flimsy stack gave way and killed the man. Planking. Planking is the quirky art of posing for public photos while lying flat like a plank in odd places like train tracks, fire hydrants, and clotheslines. Some enthusiasts even plank nude. An Australian man had fallen victim to this craze. On May 15, 2011, and with his arms by his sides and his body erect like a board, the 20-year-old positioned himself face down on a balcony railing, camera ready. You know what happened. Do you have a story of stupid people doing stupid things? Leave it in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this.